The C-47 aircraft, also known as the Skytrain, was a military transport aircraft that played a vital role in World War II. It saw widespread use across all theatres of the war, with Dwight Eisenhower referring to it as one of the most important tools to victory over the Axis powers. In today's video, we look at the history of the C-47 and its importance during World War II. If you like this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel reach more history lovers like you. Unlike many other aircraft, the C-47 wasn't created just for the Second World War. Its roots can be traced back to a civilian aircraft known as the Douglas DC-3. In the early 1930s, the Douglas Aircraft Company developed the DC-3, which was a revolutionary design that allowed airlines to transport passengers and cargo more efficiently and quickly. The DC-3 was so successful that it quickly became the standard for passengers' air travel and paved the way for the modern air travel industry. In 1941, as the United States entered World War II, the military saw the potential of the DC-3 as a military transport aircraft. The military version of the DC-3 was designated the C-47, and it quickly became one of the most important aircraft of the war. It was built to withstand the rigours of military service, and was equipped with powerful Pratt and Whitney engines that could carry heavy loads over long distances. The C-47 was an impressive aircraft. With a wingspan of 95 feet and a length of 63, it could carry up to 28 fully equipped soldiers, or 6,000 pounds of cargo, and had a range of over 1,000 miles. A reinforced fuselage floor and the addition of a large cargo door were some of the modifications from the civilian version. Other changes included the fitting of cargo hooks beneath the centre wing section and the removal of the tail cone to mount a hook for towing gliders. During the war, the C-47 played a critical role in transporting troops, equipment and supplies across the globe. It was used extensively in the European and Pacific theatres, and its reliability and versatility made it indispensable to the war effort. Its use wasn't just limited to the United States. The British and Commonwealth countries also saw its many advantages and put it into service. However, the British created a mnemonic acronym for the aircraft's name, referring to it as the Dakota, which stood for Douglas Aircraft Company Transport Aircraft. Probably one of the more famous uses of the C-47 was during the Normandy invasion on D-Day, June 6, 1944. The aircraft was used to transport paratroopers behind enemy lines in the early hours of the invasion, and then to transport supplies and reinforcements throughout the day. The C-47 played a crucial role in the success of the invasion, and became an iconic symbol of the war. It also saw use throughout the European campaign across all fronts, often providing pivotal supply drops for the men on the ground, including during the Battle of the Bulge. The C-47 was also used extensively in the Pacific Theatre, used to transport troops and supplies to remote and inaccessible locations. It was used in the China-Burma-India theatre to transport supplies over the Himalayan mountains, a dangerous and treacherous route known as the Hump. In addition to its use as a transport aircraft, the C-47 was also used for medical evacuation. Equipped with stretchers and medical equipment, it could transport wounded soldiers from the front lines to hospitals in the rear. Its rear cargo access allowed for huge amounts of equipment to be loaded on and off. Some 10,000 aircraft would be produced throughout the war and distributed across the world. The US Navy also used the aircraft, but it was named the R-4D. Following World War II, the C-47 continued to serve in a variety of roles around the world. It was used in the Korean War to transport troops and supplies, and was used extensively in the Berlin Airlift, where it transported food and supplies to the blockaded city. In the years after, many C-47 aircraft were converted for civilian use, and were used for cargo and passenger transport around the world. But perhaps one of the more interesting uses came during the Vietnam War. Designated the AC-47, the US trialled them as the original fixed-wing gunships, 
The first of these was called Spooky, which also had the nickname Puff the Magic Dragon. This was due to the fire rained down from the three electric miniguns fixed to the left side of the aircraft. Two out windows and one out the cargo door. Puff would see a lot of success against Vietnamese ground targets, and some 50 would be produced throughout the Vietnam War. Eventually though, larger and faster aircraft would become the improved gunships for the US Air Force. Overall, the C-47 was a remarkable aircraft that played a vital role in World War II. Its origins as a civilian aircraft paved the way for modern air travel, and its use as a military transport aircraft helped to change the course of the war. Many are displayed in museums around the world, with some still able to fly. What are your thoughts of the C-47 and its importance during World War II? Do you think there was a better transport aircraft the Allies overlooked? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.